What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create rectangle thumbnails in Photoshop. Now I know it's been a while since I've done a video on Photoshop, however I do plan to do more, so if there's anything specific that you guys want to see, just let me know in the comments below. Now I also want to point out, doing this technique, you'll be able to create a thumbnail using any shape. So if you want a triangle one, if you want a, a circle one, this same technique will help you create any shape as a thumbnail. But that's enough of me talking, let's just get into the video. So here we are in Photoshop. Now this is a very basic one I have created prior to making this tutorial. And it's basically what I'm gonna be recreating. So of course, the first thing you need to do, come to File, New, choose your dimensions. I'm gonna be using 1920 by 1080. You can also use 1280 by 720. Very, very important. Where it says Background Content, make sure it is selected to white. And it's very important it is white and it will need to remain white. From there, just let create. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is coming over here to the side and selecting the rounded rectangle tool. Where it says fill, you want to take this off. And for the stroke, we're going to keep it on. And all we're going to do is left click and draw out a rectangle. So you can see this is now what we have. And you can see I've snapped it into the center. Now, first thing I want, I want the corners to be a lot more rounded. And you might want that as well. So for that, head over to the side where it says properties, and you can see we have uh, these corners here. Make sure this center button is highlighted and just come to one corner and you can see you can round it off like this. And then let's say you want to resize it, press control T on your keyboard. And then for me, I want it to be a bit more, um, a bit more height on it. There we go. And just select this tick at the top. Now this rectangle will be removed in the end, but we're going to use it as a base layer. So I'm going to drag and drop on my image. It's going to be that same one you already saw. And all I'm going to do is expand the image just like this. Notice, obviously it doesn't have round corners and this uh, rectangle has disappeared. So I've put it on top and just left click and drag it above. The next thing we're going to do where on your image, you're going to right click it and select a rasterize layer. Then while selected on your image, you're going to hold control and click the rounded rectangle button. And this is what you're gonna get. What you want to do is head over to um, this tool right here. Then you wanna select right click, select inverse, and then press delete on your keyboard. And then you can press control D to remove the selection. That's now done. Now by all means, you can keep this outline on it. And of course you can come back to it and change the color, completely optional if you want it or not. But I'll just take it off. And there you go. You can see the image is set. Now we're ready to just put on some text. So don't expect anything super cool for the text in this video because of course the main thing is just creating the rounded shape and believe it or not you are done. So you can actually click off this video now if you want to or you can just watch me create this text. Um, of course I'm going to have the exact same style I showed you at the start. So I'm just going to drag out a box, of course put Kendrick Lamar. Press Ctrl A, I just size that down so we can see the text. And for those wondering what the font I'm using, it's known as Permanent Marker. It's a pretty cool font and definitely go ahead and check it out. So once again, I'm going to round this off so now it's more of a pill like this. It's more of a pill shape. Then I'm just going to hold Ctrl, select text, and press Ctrl T and enlarge it like this. Press Enter on my keyboard. Then all I'm going to do is press Ctrl J while both of these are highlighted. As you can see, it will be duplicated. I'll just drag one box down and I'll change this uh, style a bit. So I'll be picking a different blue, but I'll be picking the box to be the color of the font. Select OK. And then, of course, I'll be having the text go black just to create this nice little uh, contrast here. And I'm just going to type in humble because, of course, this is the name of the song um, this image is from. Then I'm just going to position this up here like this. And then notice in my other one, um, one corner was sharp and it was the top left one. So to do that, you just uncheck the link and then this top left one will turn that to zero. As you can see, that's now done. Then you can just left click, highlight all of them, control T, and put a little tilt on it like this. Boom, that is done. Uh, one thing I'll suggest, if you do have two different colors, you can see it looks like it's going over. Put that rectangle below. So it looks hidden like that and it looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. Of course, you can be creative as much as you want to. But that is it. That is how simple it is to create rounded rectangle thumbnails for YouTube in Photoshop. And like I did mention at the start, doing this same method, you can create any style of thumbnail. So you want a square, then for example, 
just do it as a square and you can see if you have enough text to put into there keep it as a square a triangle whatever you would like export it as normal upload it to youtube and you're done it's the exact same way i've made the thumbnail for this specific video you're watching right now so you can see there were no issues